Hi, in SwiftUI 4 and Xcode 14, there is a built-in way to animate font properties such as text size and weight. So in this video, we will look at how to animate font weight to effortlessly and magically create this beautiful text animation. So let's get started. To create the animation, we will need a state. So let's define a state called is magically moving and set the initial state to false. Next, we want this animation to happen automatically as the view appears. So let's add the on appear modifier to the text. In the on appear modifier, we will print the state is magically moving and toggle is fairly. So in SwiftUI 4, we can animate font properties such as font size and weight. So after the font modifier, let's add the font weight modifier. We will use it to create the animation. Since we have the initial state of the state variable set to false, we are going to use a ternary conditional operation, which has two values, true and false. So let's copy the state and put it here. Then bring a question mark. The first value is the true value. So when this condition is true, we will set the font weight of the text to black. And when the condition is false, we will set the font weight to ultra light. We can also use the state to animate the foreground color of the text as well. So let's add that over here. In the parentheses, let's put the state and use the same ternary conditional operation to animate the foreground color from indigo to cyan. So after the question mark, we will set the true value to indigo. And for the false value, let's set it to cyan. In order to see the animation, we can add an implicit or explicit animation. Any one of them is fine in this situation. So let's add the animation modifier just above the on appear modifier. For the easing equation, we are going to use an interpolating spring, the one that has stiffness and damping. Let's set the stiffness to 170. And for the damping, we can try, for example, five. For the value, we are going to use the state variable. We want this animation to repeat forever. So let's add the repeat forever modifier after the spring. Then we can add the parameter auto reverses and set it to true. Let's go ahead and run the application to see the animation. There is too much bounce, so we can increase the damping or reduce the stiffness. So let's change this value to 15 and run it again. As the text changes from the font weight black to ultra light, the foreground color also changes as well because over here we are animating that from indigo to cyan. I will experiment with most of the font properties and see how they animate and show you how to create the animation as well in future videos. Thanks for watching.